Hey friends, welcome here tonight to the bread basket story. I wanted to just hop on here, do a short Facebook Live, and thank you for the encouragement along the way in this COVID kindness project. So I'm going to read the story of the bread basket. The bread basket, one year later on March 23rd, 2021. Loaf number 1000 was baked today. Here's the story. Sunday, March 22nd, 2020, 10 days into the pandemic, we were all grappling with the reality of this unprecedented time. We were shaking our heads in disbelief. Before long, there were already some very positive things that started happening. People jumped into action through creative caregiving and we all witnessed many amazing ways that people showed love and care to one another. I too started thinking about a way that I could bring joy into others in some creative way. That's when I experienced what I call a heavenly download. The plan unfolded on that Sunday. Bake bread for people, set up a basket to the lamppost at the end, attached to the lamppost at the end of your driveway, text people to come and pick up bread. By the end of that Sunday, I was so excited. I set up my first bread pickup for the following day at noon. Troy Hoffman was the lucky winner who got lo loaf number one on March 23rd, 2020. I posted this on social media, got people to sign up for a free loaf of bread, and here I am exactly a year later with loaf number 1000. It's a story that I could not have written or I thought would happen. It really evolved along the way. One machine, then two, three, four, and five. It has been a very therapeutic project. This past year has been so crazy on multiple levels and baking bread for people has been very healing for me. The focus on helping others and bringing joy to their hearts was so life-giving, really a win-win. A number of people lent me their machines in fall, and so by Christmas, I had baked 500 loaves. I then made a bold statement during a CFAM interview that I would reach 1,000 loaves by the first year anniversary. Little did I know exactly how intense that would be. I baked 500 loaves in nine months from March to December. I baked 500 loaves in three months from January until today. I have each loaf documented in my bread journal. I had four to five machines going twice a day most of this year. In January, in order to reach my ambitious goal, I began giving four loaves to one person in the morning and four loaves to another person in the afternoon for them to pass on to neighbors and friends. In this way, the love just spread further and others got to experience the joy of generosity. This worked super well. Seeing kids getting joy out of giving the bread was the best. There's something about fresh, warm bread that is so comforting. Add a slab of butter and some jam and it is just so yummy. I think that's why this project developed a life of its own. People just loved eating that warm, comforting bread. Thank you to the communities of Morris, St. Jean, Low Farm and Rosenorth for helping me run with this vision and encouraging me along the way. Thanks for eating bread. And thanks for the many meaningful conversations had when you came to pick up bread. Truly an enriching experience. Thank you to John and Janine, Jamie and Stephanie, Elmer and Chris and Heather who lent me their bread machines. Thank you to many of you who contributed by giving ingredients or cash. This was super helpful and I'm so grateful. Speaking about gratitude, a familiar Bible story comes to mind where Jesus feeds 5,000 people with five loaves of bread and two fish. Truly a miracle. He takes the bread, breaks it, and gives thanks. One of the lessons that I've learned from the story is that there are multiplied blessings when we give thanks. Yes, this has been a super tough year, and we're still adjusting to new ways of living. 
If we focus on things to be grateful for, we will be living with a much larger amount of joy and ha happiness because gratitude always precedes joy and happiness. The future of the bread basket, people keep asking. Well, about 10 years ago, I had a lady who didn't know me at all say that she saw me break, baking bread for the community. So I think that word is coming to pass right now. The bread basket will go into chapter two on Monday, April 5th. I will be baking four loaves a day and pickup time will be in the morning. I will carry on baking bread until I have a sense that I'm meant to stop. Who knows, maybe it'll be 2,000 loaves by March 23rd of 2022. The bread will always be free. If you want to contribute, ingredients that are very helpful to receive are butter, yeast, and flour, or cash, which goes straight into the bread basket account. And please sign up to receive a loaf or take more to bless others with. Send me a note and I will add you to the list and contact you when it's your turn. I may have missed a name or two in the past few months. I apologize for that, but it really did get kind of hectic for a while. Please let me know so that I can get you a loaf. Prayers for multiplied blessings went with each of the thousand loaves that were baked over this past year. I will continue to do that as I head into the next 1,000. Thank you so very much for journeying with me in this amazing project. It has been incredible to administrate. My heart is full. <clears throat> And I give God the glory for his creative plan in bringing about the bread basket. God bless. Till next time. Bye-bye.